Hi everyone, it's Julia. So today I'm gonna to be doing the second look from the Black Widow music video. I've already done Iggy Azalea's look, so today I'm doing Rita Ora, because I asked you guys in my last video if you wanted to see it, and so many said, yes, your wish is my command. <laughs> So her look was obviously quite different and what I did is I did take some creative liberties with it because first of all in the video she's wearing this really crazy wig and I couldn't actually see what they used on her lids because it was covered by this blonde wig that she had on so I just realized I just had to do something that I thought would work. And the other thing is that um, you know for a music video she's got this really really intense black eyeliner and it's just really really thick and heavy and stuff. And I just knew that that wasn't going to work for my eyes and also it's probably not going to work for a lot of people's eyes because it tends to make your eyes look a lot smaller. So what I wanted to do with this is just take elements from that look that she had, this really intense black liner, and just make it a bit more wearable, make it a bit softer. But the rest I still kept, like she had these really pretty lashes, really long lashes, and then she had this nudie pink lipstick on, so I'm still doing all that. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this look, and if you want to see how to get this Rita Ora look and you want to recreate it for yourself, then just keep on watching. Alright, so let's get started. Now, the first uh, color that I'm using is from the Amrezi palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it's this color right here. It's called Caramel, and it's exactly like the name. It's like a very caramelly, warm, brownish ochre color. And just with a big fluffy brush, I am just going to go into the crease and blend that out. Now, I don't really know... Um, in, like I was looking at the video, Rita has this really crazy wig on that basically goes like almost to her eyes. Like the only thing that you can see in the video is her eyeliner. So um, I, I don't really know what they did on her eyes to be honest. Um, so I kind of just came up with something myself that I thought would work with this look, would kind of flatter. Now the other color that I used is from the Lorac Pro palette and there's um, a shade in here called Taupe. Kind of a similar color, it's just not as warm toned as the caramel. Um, the caramel is almost like almost orangey, like an orangey ochre. Just sweeping back and forth and really kind of blowing that out. Also from the Lorac palette, I use this eyeshadow called Cream. And I'm just going to apply that underneath my brows, just as a highlight. And what I also did is I just took that and applied that right on my lid as well. So to do this really intense black liner um, in the video, they just have this really dark line. It's like super thick and I just was looking at it and I was like, that's really not gonna look flattering on most people unless you're in a music video. So I kind of just decided to do this a little bit softer but still having the same elements of that makeup. So what I use to do that line is this pencil by Laura Geller and this is in the shade, well it's just called Dazzle, but it's just like a really black um, really soft cool pencil and what I'm going to do first is just kind of dab it in on my top and bottom lash line like I'm not taking this all the way into the very inner corner because that can kind of make your eyes look a lot smaller and now I'm using a pencil brush by MAC this is the 219 and I'm just going to blend that out pulling that out a little bit Now I'm going to take the Infallible Super Slim Eyeliner by L'Oreal and I'm just going to make sort of um, a winged out liner like this. Alright, so I'm just kind of going over that. Now I'm just going to give that a moment to dry before I go in with a black um, um, eyeshadow so I'm using my favorite one which is by Illamasqua and it's called Obsidian it's just a really really black matte eyeshadow and I'm just kind of dab that over I'm also going to layer a bit of this onto the lower lash line or I just take the pencil brush and just go around the edge of that line just to kind of soften it up. 
So into my waterline, I applied this liner. This is by Manhattan. It's the Kayal Eyeliner in Nude Couture 51D. And the reason I did that is because if I put now, I mean, you could put black into the waterline as well. That's really good if you have like really large eyes already. If you have smaller eyes, like mine just look really much smaller when I put black, like all around the eye and in the waterline also. So that's why I went for this. Now, the next thing I do is apply mascara. So I've already curled my lashes prior to filming and now I'm using the mascara in the shade Raven. This is by Ella Masca. This is one of my recent favorites. I've had this for a while, but I guess I just never really used it very much for some reason. I got some lashes that I'm gonna apply. So I've already done them on this eye, so you can see the difference. Cause in that video, um, Rita Ora is definitely wearing quite dramatic um, long lashes. So they're kind of quite thick and they're called Femme Fatale by houseoflashes.com. So I've already done my face makeup, of course, I've done a little bit of contouring, um, but I haven't done my blush, so I'm going to use Spellbound Blush. This is by Makeup Geek. Just kind of buffing that on. And to highlight, I use the Anastasia Contouring Kit, and I'm going to use this color right here. It's like a bone color, although you could definitely use a little bit of shimmer if you want. I just choose not to right now. So for the lips, I'm going to use um, a lip liner first. This is by Essence and it's the lip liner number 11 in the nude. So over the top, I'm going to use Mac Angel lipstick because it looks like Rita has kind of these nude pink lips. I love this lipstick by MAC. I think it's one of my favorite MAC lipsticks. All right, so that's it for this Rita Ora look, and I'm thinking it's pretty close to what she has in the video. Like I said, I did take some creative liberties with the eye makeup because I just felt like this would be more flattering, and I would wear it. I mean, I don't know, I like it. And um, I'm liking my braid today too, woo! So I've got this really high ponytail, and then I just um, made a braid, and I think it's really, I think it's really fun. <laughs> I think I'll wear it. Now I'm gonna go out and party. Yeah. No, not really. <laughs> Probably I will just wear it for a few hours and then go wash it off, like I do with most all of my makeup tutorials. If you want to see Iggy's look from the Black Widow video as well, so I did that previous to this, and um, I'll have a link below if you want to see Iggy's look. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, leave me your comments below. I love reading them. Give me new ideas. I need new video ideas. So send them to me on Facebook. Post pictures of what you want to see. And you know, that is a really good source for me. I always go on Facebook and see what you guys have been posting and requesting and stuff. Yeah, it just gives me a good new ideas and stuff to work from. So thanks so much guys. And I'll see you hopefully later. Bye.